Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. And they all say they believe in God, but nobody does what God say, right? So you got to think, the Most High blessed you, bro. It's not a life thing for you to be able to understand that you're an Israelite, you're able to wear fringes, you're uh, you supposed to keep God's commandments. Because think about it, out of all the billions of people in the world that claim they love God, you're the only one that, you're one of the very few that's actually doing what it says. Right. Psalm 147, verse 19. Hey, Q, come check it out, bro. Come check it out, Q. You know you're an Israelite? You got to, because you got your Bible. You're walking around with your Bible. You're following along, right? Watch this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, and verse 19. He shows his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. So the Bible says that God has shown his word unto Jacob. Look, Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Come on. And his statutes and his judgments. Come on. He has not dealt so with any nation. You see that? God ain't dealing with all nations. Right. Whether it was from back then and to this day. God is not dealing with all nations. He's only dealing with the Israelites. That's and right. the Israelites need to repent. Right. Who knows what's going on in this, the Israeli and Gaza war right now? You don't even know that that's for your people. Yes, hey, what's your nationality, sis? What's your nationality? Who knows what's going on in Israel and Gaza? Do y'all know that's in the Bible? All of that is going on for your redemption. God is judging the nations for putting you into slavery. God is judging Palestine for putting you into slavery. They're the ones that sold us to the Caucasians. They sold us to the English. They sold us to the British, to the Spaniards, to the Portuguese, to Rome. They sold us. And now you're in their religion. Right? We don't. He has not done so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. That's what the Bible says. He said, praise ye the Lord. That's right. God is dealing with us only. Today they will say you're a black identity extremist. They try to make you feel ashamed because God chose you. That's what they teach. But when it comes to Christianity, it's all everybody. White man is always on top. He's going to teach you a good song, make it sound all good, but he's going to be on top and our people on the bottom. That's not religious. That's not how it's supposed to be. Right? So all praise to the most high. Q, right? So you already know you got to keep the commandments. How long you been watching us? You follow us or you watching a lot of brothers? So you married? Your wife believe? Okay, all praise to the most high. So let me ask you this. How long you been out here? In Chicago? Um, well, I'm from Chicago. I, okay. I just, uh, Oh, okay. So you out here visiting? Yeah, I just, I just got to Christmas last night. Okay, okay. So you had to celebrate Christmas? No. Why are you visiting your mother in this time of year? Well, I, I, I got laid off from work. Oh, okay, okay. Down there, so they gave me layoffs, so I kind of had to get out. Okay. So what you going to be doing on Christmas Day? Okay, but is you gonna be studying the word around the Christmas tree with everybody coming oh, and they got the little chitlins and the pyros and you know what I'm saying? 
Because we got to understand, give me that in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. What you gotta do is you gotta try. You have to set an example. That's what you gotta do. You and your wife. You gotta set an example. I'm gonna show you something. Watch this. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse twenty-two. Abstain from all appearance of evil. See what the Bible says. You gotta learn to abstain from all appearance of evil. Why? Because a lot of our people are watching us. Your mother and them watching you, yeah. right? Your brothers and sisters, all your family and sisters, but all your family members, they're watching, right? And they all say they believe in God, but nobody does what God say, right? So you got to think, the Most High blessed you, bro. It's not a light thing for you to be able to understand that you're an Israelite, you're able to wear fringes, you that, uh, you're supposed to keep God's commandments. Because think about it, out of all the billions of people in the world that claim they love God, you're the only one that, you're one of the very few that's actually doing what it says. Right. You think that's a light thing with God? You think God don't see you amongst all these people? You're the person that Satan is going to come after. Everybody else are already lost. Satan ain't got to worry about them. He already got them. It's you that he's going to come after. Because you are actually endeavoring to keep the commitments. Uh-huh. Because, you know, as Christians, we have to be careful that I hate, I, yeah, I, I love Right. I need to be around brother. Right. Right, absolutely. That's that's one that now. I I want to manage the laws and every time I try to get kids together and everything, do the things best for me. She knows the law. She knows the law. And so it's like, now I don't know. What you doing right now, bro? What you doing right now, today? What's what you doing? Just uh, studying the word and studying the word. Did you come visit our school today? It's the Sabbath, right? Yes, yeah, it's the Sabbath. Watch this. Okay. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. So God commands us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together, right? Come on. As the manner of some is. Because you have some people that know this word. But they want to separate. They want to be on their own. Okay? I'm not saying that shit, but there's some people that's out there that's really like that. They don't want to join uh, a congregation that's like minded, right? So the scripture says that we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves in as the manner of some other people do, right? Come on. But exhorting one another. We're supposed to exhort one another. The only way we can exhort one another to endeavor and this truth is we have to be together. We have to be surrounded by each other. Because you know this world is dark, right? Even though it, with you being a married man, right? You got women that will that walk up and down the street half naked, and sometimes it'd be hard not to look. It's a lot of evil going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? You got folks out here that's, you know, they, they throw a vagina around like it's nothing. And as a man of God, we know we cannot condone in that. But if we stay amongst the wicked long enough, eventually our minds become... Uh, what's the word? I'm we become conformed. bewitched. Conformed. Become conformed unto what's going on in the world and we fall into it. So we have to exhort one another. We got to come together. Come on. Watch this. Watch this. And so much the more as he see the day approaching. And so much the more as we see the day approaching. What day? The day of our, the, our Lord's second return. You see what's going on in Israel and Palestine. That's, what's, that's Bible prophecy. That's, give me that in English chapter 1. That's Bible prophecy. That war being popped up, they're gonna, it's going to be between Israel and Palestine. That is going to be the pop off of Third World War, World War Three, and Christ is prophesied to come during those times. Come on, this is the Book of Amos, chapter one and verse six. Thus saith the Lord: For three transgressions of Gaza, for of Gaza, and for 
before. I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Also, the scripture says that God is punishing Gaza. Right. He's going to punish Amalek too. The Israelis, he's going to get them too because they know we're in there. But watch this. Because they carried away captives, the whole captivity, to deliver them up to Edom. See that? During the sub-Saharan slave trade, they delivered us up to Edom. You know the Edomites is the so-called white man. That's how we got into the transatlantic slave trade. So what's going on in Gaza is, is their punishment for selling us. Come on. But I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, which shall devour the places thereof. And that's what happened. All of Gaza is a desolation. It's a desolation. We're seeing the times come to pass. We're seeing prophecies come to pass. We're seeing the day come much closer. Therefore, we need to gather together. You understand that? Leviticus 23 and 2. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 2. Come on. And I know you said you didn't realize that we was out there in Missouri, right? Yeah, but when you go back home, man, you got to give us, you got a flyer? Did we give them a flyer? Yeah, Give us a call and we can get you in contact with the people in Missouri. Okay, you uh, Jefferson, how far is that from St. Louis? That's about like three hours. Three hours? Okay. 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 Oh, watch this, watch this. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be an holy convocation. So the feasts of God are holy convocations. A convocation is a gathering, right? I mean, an assembly, right? Come on. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So today, what you already know, is the Sabbath day. And holy convocation. It's a holy convocation. So it will behoove you since you out here, you know we out here and we the ones you learn it from. Come keep the Sabbath with us, bro. Come come, come through. Y'all know you gotta stay with your ID. You good, you believe, you got your friends, bro. Come chill with us. Come keep come celebrate the Sabbath with, with the righteous, bro. You feel me? Come on. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. In all our dwellings, whether we in Missouri, whether right. we in Chicago, visiting family, wherever you at. Right. If you got an Israelite school that's in that city, wherever you at, and the Sabbath day come, hey, get away from your family. They may not believe, but you do. Come keep the Sabbath with the Lord, with the people of the Lord. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 